are also calling for a thorough investigation because they are suspicious of the circumstance of the the fire. So we have schools, uh, two schools of thought. The fire service and the school administration, we are pointing fingers at a possible uh, power fluctuation or electrical fault. Others are also um, being suspicious of how the whole thing went about. And so we are keeping our fingers crossed to find out exactly what could have led to this inferno that has raised down the top floor of the administration block. It's a, in fact, it's a new block because uh, the school used to uh, uh, operate from an old charter. And so the best fund came in to support them. And uh, lo and behold, this is what has befallen the school. So we are keeping our fingers to find out exactly what has happened. So as you said, the first floor has been raised down. Is it too early to yes. know the extent of damage? Uh, not, too, not too early. For the, the, the top floor or the, uh, the story, that's uh, about 10 offices, as you have been told by the school's authority and then the fire service. So 10, 10 offices have, have been uh, raised down by the fire. Uh, but the ground floor uh, was left uh, 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 inside. So to speak, unless the, uh, the structural engineers or civil engineers who come, go and assess it, and come out with a report and tell us that because it has got to do with fire, the structure is, uh, integrity of the uh, building has been compromised. And so that expert advice, we will say the ground floor is intact, but the top floor, all the ten uh, offices of the block have been raised down by the fire. So, Nicholas, in the interim, what is the college administration or the college doing about the situation in the interim? Now they are looking for alternative arrangements to temporarily uh, uh, accommodate the officers whose uh, offices have been destroyed by the fire. I must also place a record that the dean of students of the university, uh, the college, uh, Mr. Douglas Franklin, has indicated that the school has lost quite a number of documents, very important documents relating to activities of the school, some mm -hmm. relating to uh, uh, the students' uh, uh, details have all been lost to the fire, and some computers and other IT equipment in the offices have also been lost to the fire. As to whether there were some backup arrangements to foster a, a complete loss of it as relevant information or data about the school and its activities, that one we cannot uh, say for uh, for certain purpose. But we can say that yes, the school has lost all those. Uh, relevant documents, the fiscal ones, the boosters, and then the IT equipment. But we are hoping that they will come because they realize that they, they made arrangements for a backup elsewhere so that they could not have lost everything completely to the fire. But for now, they are making arrangements for alternative uh, accommodation, I mean office accommodation, for those officials who have lost their offices to the fire. All right, thank you very much, Nicholas. And that was our Shanti yeah, Regional Correspondent, Nicholas.